Well, it's time to find out if this Luffy figure is actually better than the anime one, which I don't have anymore. Let's get into it. Now, it looks really good, but there are some serious problems with this guy. Is he going to be worth the retail price of $75? Let's find out. So here we go with our boy Luffy in the box. Looking pretty good. I'll, I'll be honest. Right off the bat, this is looking pretty solid likeness wise. And it's good because you get a real photo next to his face, so you know it's good by looking at it at the same time. Now, this is a line that I've been pretty excited for because this is the show that I've watched. I've not watched the anime because there's only like a billion episodes. And so far, everybody that they've cast in there, the main characters have been fantastic. And this guy is no exception. This is a perfect uh, cast for the show. But that's enough nonsense. Let's talk about the figure, which is what we're here for. It's the Netflix show. We already know that. Look at the back of the box. We got some figure shots looking pretty good, honestly. The poses, he's got double jointed knees or, or, or some sort of ball joint knee, which looks like we might be able to get some good articulation. Obviously the hat comes off. He's got a string unlike the anime, which did not have a string. And then some information that we don't need to know about, blah, 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 blah. Side of the box, side of the box, bottom, top, who cares? We're not really here for a box. So taking him out of the box here, what do we got? We got a little bluey, sleevey thing we don't need. We got the instructions, which are pretty standard for SH Figure Arts, but this one basically is just gonna say, hey, look, that's how hat and faces work. You wanna have fun doing it? And here's some hand stuff. Everybody enjoys some hand stuff. And just a heads up, this is kind of really important because if you end up loving this figure, right now, as the time I'm recording this, he's on sale on Amazon through the, 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 the through the Tamashi Nation store. So sorry that I can't use words. So normal price is $75. If you want to save some money, hopefully that link, which I shared in the description and, and pinned in the comments, so you don't need to ask, just check. It's there. Here we go with our boy looking at him. Oh, we don't want to look at him first, right? We got to get into these accessories and then kind of hold some suspense, right? We have this hand, which is on the left side, which is just a casual, relaxed hand. And I'm here for it. I love casual, relaxed hands. You get a left and a right of that thing. So if you like the left one, you get a right one. I had them laid out here a little weird, doesn't matter. And on the right hand, you get this one, a nice choppy hand or this nice, uh, hey, talk to the hand. Do people still say that? You guys, this is probably getting a younger audience. You guys don't even know what that is probably, right? Then we have a nice kind of uh, st fighting stance hand, probably. I don't know, he doesn't do any key blasts. He does stretchy boy stuff, which as you can see, he does not have any of those things in the box, which makes him kind of a really bad value. $75 regular price and you don't get any extra parts. The anime version of him comes with no extra parts either, but he's only $35. So it makes it like arguably a great deal and worth it. Anywho, extra head that's in the box is this just casual, no, no real expressions, which now I'm also upset about. So I think the value of this thing is going Let's find out. Here's the unhatted head. <laughs> I was gonna say unmasked, but there is no mask. His his hair's there, it, it looks fine. You got the scar, so the details are certainly there in the face. The likeness, I, I do think is, is really good, especially at this scale. Usually it's hard to get a likeness that tiny. And SH Figure Arts is not historically good with the likenesses of real people. They're not awful. Sometimes they are, like Nami, yikes. Here we go, looking at the details of this one. It's got that, that, <laughs> I'm trying to get through it so fast I can't. We got that face, which is uh, pretty common for him, this kind of smirk. Again, likeness is great. You got the scar, the details, those bushy brows, which are pretty iconic for this actor. The body is looking pretty solid. I mean, he was, uh, he was a pretty thin boy anyway. So again, great casting because he, he's kind of accurate, but the the material here has some like black wash going on to give it a little bit more life. You can see it real clear on the back of it, not, not as obvious on the front. You will notice that the body is almost just like a, a printed in plastic, like flesh tone, and then his face has paint. So there's this very obvious difference between the two. If you're gonna go realistic, you can't really get away with just plastic parts. You have to paint everything. Pants are also off a little bit on the color. So you have this kind of lighter blue up here and then the darker, which the longer you stare at it, more obvious it is, which is a certainly a bummer. Again, they really are dropping the ball on the, on the, on the paint work. Now, one of the things that I kind of love about SH Figure Arts is the fact that they generally 
come with multiple facial expressions. You could swap out some face plates, you get a lot of accessories, hands at least, and then they're really poseable. I think today we're gonna get posability and that's it, because we only have two faces and they're not that far off from each other. You get one that's a little bit more serious and one has to smirk. There's no like, other expressions going on in the box, which is really a bummer. Let's look at the articulation. So the head movement is actually really good because he's got it in the neck and the head. So I think you're not gonna have any limitations there. His arms go out just fine in that classic T pose. And then he's kind of got this extended joint going on there. So I think we'll be able to get some pretty good range. Yeah, there's no real limitations here, which is nice. Now, obviously the bicep will swivel there. It's just a single joint elbow. It just goes a little bit beyond 90 degrees, which is kind of a shame. Now the wrist, which is uh, pretty much what they do on everything, is a ball joint, so no problems with that. The body does have some crunching going on in there. Got no belly button, that's a little weird. <laughs> so he separates there, so he does have some movement in the chest area, which doesn't get that much movement because of the vest. And then the waist, of course, we saw, has some good range for left and right. So you can get some crunching, but it does pop apart a little easy if you start extending it too far. Most people are just gonna put this on the shelf, no big deal. Obviously on the show, we really gotta push the uh, extremes of everything to really get to know the different, like when, when, what's the breaking point of some of these joints? The legs are not that great. As far as splits, he just really doesn't do them at all. We get this waist swivel, we have a 90 degree. I'm starting to lose interest in the in the, in the figure. Uh, anyway, the shoes, uh, he's got these boat shoes. So his, his ankles have good articulation. He has toe articulation, which I do love. And uh, there's no swivel here, even though it's like, it's it's perfectly set up to swivel there. Why wouldn't you just do that? Yeah, articulation is also not great. Not a lot of accessories. The visual likeness is fantastic on his face. They really needed to lock down some more paint on the, the, the shirt and the body and the pants and stuff to just blend the stuff a little bit more. As far as quality goes, it is, there, the quality is there, and it does not feel like any of those uh, kind of cheaper ones that pop apart. Anything that popped apart was me just kind of pushing these things again to the limit. So uh, I don't know. I mean, it would be really nice to have some some gum gum parts to do some stretchy arm boy stuff. <laughs> but what else? How are you going to do that? Let's take this head off and see how this thing comes apart. So we have this face plate which comes out from here, and you can swap these face plates from the hatless one and the hatted one. Now, I think anybody that does get this figure, you're just gonna go with the happy expression, right? That is like his classic thing. He's just a happy boy. Very positive, which is like an, a, a nice uh, change of pace sometimes to have such a positive character. But there you go with the more serious expression on the hat head, and then you can have the smirking face without the hat, which just is kind of pointless. It's not like the hat can come off and be used in different ways, which is really unfortunate. Again, so now we're looking at a scenario where you can't take the hat and hang it off the back of his... So what? You got the string, great, but you can't hang it on his... Look, I, I'm gonna say it. It's overpriced. It's sad, it's just... Mm. It's a frustrating figure because everything that you would want out of him just doesn't exist. No stretchy parts for the price, limited facial expressions, the hat is just molded in, you got no options to just hang it off of him or take it off altogether. Ugh, man, I'm actually kinda, <laughs> kinda hating this, the decision to buy this guy. This head without the hat kinda looks a little weird, it makes his neck look super thick, so I don't like that, and obviously, I don't think many of us would display him that way, but you know, you may want, you would want him, uh, Awful. Well, there you have it. I, I think, uh, man, you gotta really like it. You gotta really like it. I, I mean, sometimes I can, you can really sell somebody in a video <laughs> and show stuff off to look really good, and it does look good, but there's just the lack of stuff in there, man. It's so frustrating. Anyway, uh, worth getting? No. That's the, that's just the sad part of this figure and this price and this channel is that sometimes you, you commit to something like this that you're really excited about and then you're like, well, oh, that's dookie. Anyway, here, check out the anime version. It's a lot better. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.